Hi, this is Kama Troy coming to you from Linden Camp, located five minutes southeast of Linden, Tennessee. I have 35 acres here that I'm developing into a, a boutique or a small RV park with some beautiful views and private settings. So I'm pretty excited because I have some new technologies to introduce today. One of the biggest challenges that I've had is, is taking my vision out of my head and explaining it to people. Sure, I can show photos, I can you know, have videos, I can even do drone footage, but the problem with all of those mediums is it shows the current state of, of the 35 acres. It doesn't, it doesn't show my vision of you know, what, um, what I'm envisioning is gonna look like in the future. So I got together with Hef the IT guy and we did some 3D modeling uh, for what the future state of, of this first part of Linden Camp may, may look like. I'm pretty excited to, uh, to show this to you. Now this all started because I was having difficulty doing the infrastructure layout. I did a drawing like you see here, and I tried to draw in you know, blue for water lines and you know, different, different lines for green for the electric, brown for the septic lines, and they just, it just ended up being just looks <laughs> like chicken scratch. So I'm like, oh my God, there's gotta be a better way. So this video you're about to see is to model the infrastructure and the electrical. That's kind of where I started. And then, you know, I added some more stuff to it just to kind of make everything kind of make sense. So, and at the end, I'll go see if I can find half the IT guy and have him come in here and explain some of the, the technical details of, of how we did all this uh, wonderful future drone footage. So with that, let's start, let's roll the video. So what you see here is we're flying in from the southern side of Linden Camp, facing north. And the first thing you'll notice is that there's five RVs parked here along the top of the ridge. The south part of the ridge, looking south, it's a southern view into the, the ridge, you know, that will be about a quarter mile away, half a mile away. And then you'll see the shop and uh, barn dominium on the top right sc screen there. Um, the RV turnaround area is in the bottom left part of the, the screen. And then there's some, some electric poles, some utility poles that I drew. Those are the first things that, that um, we added to, to the drawing. And then there's a septic field we're going over. Now, one of the things I was looking for RVs to put in here, and I stumbled across a prison bus and oh my God, I thought this thing was so cool. So I actually parked a, a prison bus inside the garage and talk about some detail, holy cows, I can't believe it. So we decided to actually uh, take you a tour inside this bus. So check this out. And a friend of mine asked me why I have a prison bus in my RV park. I said, that's for the unruly guest. And I said, you'll be the first one in line. She laughed. So here you'll see the a different side of the road view of the shop on the right. And then on the left is a, a two bedroom apartment above and then down below. I'm not exactly sure what to, I'm gonna do with that yet. It could be a camp store, it could be a bar and grill. It could be Troy's personal recreation area. So. I hope you enjoyed the video, and, and let me see if I can uh, find Hef the IT guy. Hef! Hef! Hef, where are you? Oh, come on over here. Explain this video. Okay. Oh, my work is never done, I tell ya.
So Comet Troy approached me. I'm half the IT guy. I'm responsible for all the, the technical stuff here at Linden Camp. I'm not going to take a lot of time to explain this, but basically what I did is I took a drone photo, imported that, that drone photo into a 3D uh, modeling software, and it's not, the photo is just 2D, so it just lays flat on the, uh, you know, X and Y axis. But it gave me a good idea of, you know, how things were laid out at Linden Camp. You know, is it exact? No, it's not exact. You know, I stretched out the photo. I knew that the backside of, of the turnaround was approximately 500 feet. And my 3D modeling software, you know, tells me how far... Um, the back of the drawing is so I, I stretched the drawing and resized it, you know to make it Approximately the right size the RVs and stuff. I didn't draw those myself. Those come from the 3d warehouse Someone else drew all that in the prison bus and so I was able to just you know plop those in um, the only other things that I have really designed in here was the um, you know the shop apartment um, designed the the bathhouse laundry, which is in the middle. I had a there was a previous video on that. You know, with the uh, 3D modeling software, you can just change and have different camera views, and you just put them in a you know a bunch of scenes, and it allows you to spit out animation. So that allowed me to you know create a a video of the you know of the structure, and then I just simply added added some you know some sound effects to it some background music, some Tweety Birds, some helicopter noises, and I had all kinds of that. And you also notice that I've upgraded some of my, I've leveled up my technology here. I have a, a new microphone we're using to uh, hopefully have better audio. All right, Comet Troy, I'm done. You know, seats, seats available for you. Well, thank you, half the IT guy. Those are some nice enhancements. The microphone, the 3D modeling software, the background music. Love it. So I hope you all love it out there too. If you do, like, subscribe, comment, let us know, and we'll let us know what you think about our video. And I'll see you in the next video.